Welcome to the Israel United in Christ podcast with the real Jews, the 12 tribes of Israel, where you get the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth from the words of the Most High straight from the Bible. Join us each week as the prophets break down the deep basics, unlock Bible mysteries, expose dangerous deceptions, and show you how to come back to your true heritage and inherit the kingdom of heaven. These are revelations and insights you won't get anywhere else. So he that has an ear, let him hear, because the prophets are about to speak. You don't see the plot against your people? You don't see it? Guess what? what other nation does songs and calls their women bitches and hoes? Excuse my language. You don't see the Chinese doing that. You don't see white folks doing that. You don't see Arabs doing that. Only you destroy black men, Puerto Rican men. You're the only race that do that, because the white man is in your head. The devil is alive in your brain and you think it is the way to live you can make they will pay an ignorant black man millions of dollars, millions of dollars yeah. we will pay you 3.5 million dollars you you can barely read but they're gonna give you that money to rap about sex drugs and murder nobody sees nothing wrong with this it turns master then you get in the game you in jail yep <laughs> rap about uh baby mama drama half you black men got baby mama drama half you in jail you know, for being important, Bishop. Remember, remember that latest album, Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj uh, disrespect Malcolm X. Oh, yes, man. yes. Yeah. None yeah. of the so-called black leaders say nothing about that. Exactly. She disrespecting one, uh, one of the great. He was a great leader. He, right. he might not believe. Right. But he, Malcolm X was a Malcolm X was actually one of the brothers that was standing for unified the black man. He was sincere. He was sincere. She disrespected him. And guess what? That didn't come from her. No, yeah. that did not come from her. That, that came from her owners. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to say it like that, her owners. Just like your brothers and sisters in the sports world, you have owners. That's right. Yep. That's right. They own you, and they pay you big dollars. And those big dollars is not meant for you. Let me tell you something about your life. Remind me about riches in a second. Let's get back. I'm going to forget the topic. Where we at? Yeah, second Peter's 3 and 11 coming. <clears throat> Go ahead. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? All these things that you see in America, God says through the prophet Peter, the apostle Peter, they shall be dissolved. It's going to be destroyed. Again, again, how, how America has just lifted the embargo on Iran. So-called Israel said, we are going to fight Iran. Russia says, we are going to fight you. That's right. <laughs> Understand the times you're living in. <laughs> Understand that. Watch this. Watch. Did you read verse 12? No, sir. Come on. Looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of the Lord, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. I don't understand the time we're living in. Give me Isaiah 54, 16. Don't let me forget about riches. I, got, I, I do want to touch on that. I'm about to show you, brothers and sisters, war is in the Bible. Thermonuclear disaster is in the Bible. A lot of you in the, con black, the black unconscious community know that Bible's fairy tale book. You know, uh... <laughs> Show me a book, aside from the Bible, that talks about thermonuclear destruction from 3,000 years ago. Show me it. Show me a book that shows the conditions of black men and black women as it pertains to slavery on up till today. Show me another book outside of the Bible. You Muslims out there, you got an attitude with us? Call in. You black Muslims, you Farrakhan followers, you're not our enemies. You are our people, and we love you dearly, but you must repent. Understand this. So if you're mad, call in with your proof. Show us in the Quran where it says that black men and black women would go into slavery on slave ships like it does in Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. Show us in the Quran where it says black women would have single parent households to raise her kids like it says in Isaiah 3, verse 12. Show us! This is a message of love, not of hate. This is a message of unity of coming together as Israelites. Even Farrakhan, didn't Farrakhan say that we are the children so of God? So it is today. America, you don't have a lot of time to play with the lives and the destiny of a people that God has chosen 
for himself we are that people we are the real children of Israel and you have it there in your scripture if you would bless us you would be blessed by God but if you continue your evil plans against us then God will step up the calamities that are facing you from north to south to east to west. Then he sold them to the Scientology. Church of Scientology yeah. for $2.3 million. Are you kidding me? Nobody sees nothing wrong with that? Where are we at? We're in Isaiah chapter 54, verse 16. We're discussing thermal nuclear Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire. Remember back in the day during the Middle Ages, there was somebody called the smith. When he made weapons like swords, he would uh, have this thing, I forgot what it's called, a blower. He would blow the hot coals of fire to make the metal soft. Then he would get a hammer on an anvil to shape and forge that sword or that spear or that armor. But this is going beyond that. This is going into America because the common day smith is the scientist. Well, I'm going to prove it what it says. Read it again. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. That bringeth forth an instrument for his work. Watch this. Let's see if it's talking about a sword or a, a nuclear weapon. Go ahead. And I have created the waster to destroy. I have created the waster to destroy. A sword is not a waster. A spear is not a waster. But a missile, an ICBM, an intercontinental ballistic missile, that's a waster. Yep. That can waste everything. Understand what it's saying. Was that it? Yes, sir. Get me Job 20, verse 24, 25. Job. So we wouldn't notice this. We went from the New Testament. Now we're backtracking to the Old Testament to show you Christians are saying the same thing. War is coming. Fire. Thermonuclear fire is coming. Come on. We're in the book of Job, chapter 20, verse 24. He shall flee from the iron weapon. This so-called white man? It's prophesied that he shall flee from the iron weapon. The iron weapon that Job is talking about is not a spear. Why well, is going to prove it as we read on? Read again. He shall flee from the iron weapon, and the bow of steel shall strike him through. And the bow of steel shall strike him through. Right now you say, no, that's a, that's a bow and arrow, brother. My brother, it's not. A bow and arrow, look at the attributes of a bow and arrow. You pull the arrow back and you let loose. America has something called missile silos, where it opens up and missiles come forth. Watch. It is drawn and cometh out of the body. It is drawn. This weapon is drawn and it cometh out of the body. Yea, the glittering sword. The glittering sword. Cometh out of his gall. Cometh out of his gall, which is his poison's policies. Go ahead. Terrors are upon him. Terrors are upon him. You mean an arrow is going to terrorize a man on the earth? No, an arrow is not going to do that. That caused terror. Was that it? Go ahead. All darkness shall be hid in his secret places. A fire not blown shall consume him. A fire not blown shall consume him. So this arrow shall bring forth fire. And it is a consuming fire, yeah. and you can't blow it out. Read that precept again. <laughs> All darkness shall be in his secret places. A fire not blown shall consume him. See that you ain't blowing that fire out. Was that it? Yes, sir. Go ahead. It shall go ill with him that is left in his tabernacle. It shall go ill. You that is left on this American policy, it shall go ill with you. Watch this. Give me Zechariah 14, verse 12. Going back to this consuming fire, going back to the waster, going back to this fire that shall melt the heavens and the earth, which are now, watch what it says. Zechariah chapter 14, verse 12. And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord shall smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. But let's read on. Their flesh, their flesh shall, shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. What type of weapon, listen good, what type of weapon can do this? Read that again. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. Can a sword do that? 
Can a spear do that? Nope. Consume your flesh while you're still standing. This is describing thermal nuclear fire. Read. And their eyes shall consume away in their holes. And your eyes shall consume away in the holes of your head. Go ahead. And their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. Mm. That's some heavy stuff there. So, brothers, we ain't got time to play. Look at the news. Look at your uh, Caucasian news network. They're showing you what's about to go down. Now we're showing you solutions. Repent. Get your lives in order as Israelites. Come out of those whorehouses you call churches. But I know some of you West Indians right now, some of you Puerto Ricans, you Haitians, oh, I'm going to run to my island. I'll be safe. I'll go to my island. Let's go back to the New Testament. Revelation chapter 6. We're going to read 12 through 17. Let's talk about your island. Will the thermonuclear war, the fallout, affect your island? Revelation chapter 6, verse 12. And I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal. The sixth seal. Watch this. And lo, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood, and the stars of heaven fell unto the earth. When the Bible says the stars of heaven fell unto the earth, it's not talking about literal stars. What's up there that's going to fall when war breaks out? Satellites. That's what America got, an early warning system. All them things, God says, I'm knocking all that crap out the air, out the sky. Go ahead. Even as a fig tree casteth her untimely fig. When? When she is shaken of a mighty wind. The she is Babylon the Great. When she, Babylon the Great, the United States, is shaken as a mighty wind. Meaning war, destruction. It's on. Read. And the heaven departed as a scroll uh -huh. when it is rolled together. That is the mushroom cloud when a bomb drops. Read. And every mountain and island were moved out of their place. Every island shall be moved out of its place. So you're not going to be safe in Jamaica. You're not going to be safe in Haiti, Guatemala, Panama. You're not going to be safe in Puerto Rico, in Haiti, Santo Domingo. You're going to die if you don't repent. There is solution to everything. The solution is not with your guns, brothers. When I'm a fight, I'm a fight. You ain't going to do nothing but die. Read on. And the kings of the earth, and the great men, and the rich men, and the chief captains, and the mighty men, and every bondman, and every free man, hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains. Those are those, what are those called? The underground bunkers. Underground bunkers. What are we reading? The Bible. Hey, Mr. Muslim brother, brother, my brother the Muslim, can you read what we're reading in the Quran? Show us uh, underground bunkers in, in the Quran. Show us thermonuclear destruction in the Quran. Show us. It's not dead. It ain't there. Come on. Verse 16. And said to the mountains and rocks, fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? That is the question. Who shall be able to stand that day? Give me Hosea 1. So what some of you right now, you're saying, so what are we going to do? Are we supposed to leave the country, flee? There's no place you can go where this fire will not touch. Watch. Hosea 1, I want 10 and 11. Hosea chapter 1, verse 10. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea which cannot be measured nor numbered. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, ye are not my people. Pause. Here in America it is said, you are not God's people. How? How? They teach us we are Gentiles. America teaches us we are African Americans, Jamaicans, West Indians, Puerto Ricans, Haitians. Those are Gentile names. They said change their name from Israel. Change their name from Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Don't call them that. Call them African Americans, West Indians. Read that again. And in the place? And in the place where it was said, Ye are not my people, there it shall be said unto them, Ye are the sons of the living God. This is the place where you're hearing it now. You are the sons of the living God. Wake up and repent. Come on. Then shall the children of Judah. Then, now y'all, you know, everybody heard about the rapture in church growing up. Here go your mama. I'm a Baptist. I'm going to get the rapture. I'm a, I'm a, give me another religion they got. Oh, Pentecost. I'm a Pentecostal. I'm going to go to the rapture. I'm a, give me Methodist. another one. I'm a Methodist. I'm going to go to the rapture. 
The word rapture ain't even in the Bible. It means to be caught up, carried away. Mama, let me tell you something. If you're going under Negro, Methodist, Baptist, Episcopal, you are not going to be delivered. Here's the proof, verse 11, one more time. Then, Let's see who's going to be delivered. Then shall the children of Judah and the children of Israel be gathered together. So the Bible is about unity, brothers. Come on. And appoint themselves one head. The one head is Jesus the Christ. It is not Louis Farrakhan. It is not Al Sharpton or Jesse Jackson. It is Jesus the Christ, the black Messiah. That's right. Come on. And not Obama either. It ain't Obama. Thank you. Come on. And they shall come up out of the land. Read it again. And they shall come up out of the land. Read the verse again. Who's coming up? I'm confused. It's going to be Baptist. My mama Baptist. Go ahead. Then shall the children of Judah and the children of Israel be gathered together and appoint themselves one head. And they. And they. And they. Who's the they? Judah and Israel, go ahead, shall come up out of the land. That's why we ain't worried about the thermonuclear destruction. Why? Because the prophecy says Judah and Israel shall gather together and come up out of the land. So mother, father, if you are under the illusion of you are Republican, Democratic, Negro, Baptist, Episcopalian, Muslim, you are going to die. That's right. And we don't, God don't want you to die. He wants you to be delivered. But you must repent of your sins. Now, I made a statement about the rich, right? Yes, sir. Can we get 1 Timothy 6, 17 about? Because you got black brothers and sisters in the rap game, in the R&B game, who are well off, who are rich. The Bible has a message for you. 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 17. Charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high-minded. Brothers, in the rap game, in the R&B, in the sports world, don't be high-minded. You brothers and sisters in the acting profession, don't be high-minded. Go ahead. Nor trust in uncertain riches. Don't trust in uncertain riches. Look at Red Fox. Look at many of the black entertainers who died broke, who had to file chapter, what is it called? Bankruptcy, Bankruptcy chapter, chapter 13. Don't look what look at what happened to our brother Wesley Snipes. Mm -hmm. Look at Alan Iverson. Alan Iverson. Yep. This is a sad thing. That's why God says don't trust in uncertain riches. Don't be high minded. Come on. But in the living God. You better put your trust in the living God. Go ahead. Who giveth us richly all things to enjoy. Watch this. That they do good. You are commanded. You that are rich amongst the black and Latin community, you're commanded to do good. And let's, it's not talking about do good to the, they say, oh, I do good. I do the NAACP. What does that um, stand for? Um, Negro National Association. Of I can't hear. National Association. National Association for the Advancement of Color. Exactly. That is not the good you are to do good to. Let me tell you something. Remember we discussed earlier about secret plots? The NAACP is a secret plot. Yeah. yeah. It is an organization founded by white people for white people. The, it benefits, they say it benefits uh, for the advancement of colored people. <laughs> That's a lie. It benefits white women, midgets, and homosexuals. And it keeps us under the illusion that we are Negroes. Understand that. So read that again. And that's, that's those, those institutions was a better way, in other words, the white men go and sit down and think and say, let's do something where we can keep an ask them, where we can put them under control. Monitor. Monitor. And that's institution, those institutions were set up by the white men where they put their money, their own money they put in it so they can keep the control on you. So they say, okay, we're going to open it, but we're going to put a Negro in charge as like it's actually for them. But in reality, it's not for us. You know, a lot of brothers and sisters go to these black universities. A lot of these black universities were built by so-called white people. Yeah, yeah. And you were meant to go in, learn that you are a Negro, and go out into the workforce. Nine out of ten of you black men and women who we do appreciate who have college degrees, your degrees is not meant for you to go forth and become producers, distributors, owners, but the contrary, workers. workers. A lot of our people got education. But they are no earthly or godly good to their own people. 
<laughs> they go, oh, I want to work for IBM. I want to work for Steve Jobs. I want to work for Google. Why don't we work for something to unify ourselves, unify our people? Okay, no, your mind is not. College does not gear you to think like that. How come the East Indian thinks like that? Yep. The Chinese think like that. Yep. And you know, like something you said, um, Deacon Malika, you made a, a statement. You said the Chinese and East Indians don't give a damn about voting. Oh, yeah. right. They have their own communities, their own banks, their own restaurants. They own everything. Yeah. But black people, we are so consumed with keep vote or die, vote or die. We don't have our own thriving communities. We don't have our own banks. We don't have our own school system. We have nothing. That's what voting has done for us. Where we at? We're in First Timothy chapter six, verse eighteen. Now, that they do good, that they be rich in good works, ready to distribute. Ready to what? Ready to distribute. Ready to what? Ready to distribute. Now, who was Peter saying there to be ready to distribute to? Are you to be ready to distribute to Baptists that keep us in that lying religion? Are you to distribute to? The Nick, give me some Negro. Oh, the NAACP, the National Ac Action Network. Right. Those things are, 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 are satellites for the white man. You are meant to distribute to Israel, the Israelites, because we're giving you the truth. Like it says in, give me that in Acts 2. You know what I want? This is the proof of who you are meant to distribute to. Because right now you're going, oh, you, oh you, you, you just want us to give y'all them. No, 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 no. That is your godly duty. And guess what gets done when you do that? It ain't meant for us to live as a uh, fat pockets. What is it yep. called? Fat cat. Fat, a fat cat. You got it for me. You know what I want? Yes, sir. We're in the book of Acts chapter 2, verse I'll start at 41. Then they that gladly received his word were baptized. And the same day there were added unto them about 3,000 souls. And they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship and in breaking of bread and in prayers. And fear came upon every soul, and many wonders and signs were done in it by the apostles. And all that believed were together and had all things common, and sold their possessions and goods, and parted them to all men as every man had need. And they continued, continued. Did you see that? And they parted them to every man as every man had need. They give me the chapter 4. And you know, it's a key word I want in chapter 4. It's saying the same thing, but there's one word I want. Which is the same word we read in 1 Timothy 6, 18. You got it? We're in the book of Acts chapter 4, verse 34. Neither was there any among them that lacked, or as many as were possessors of lands or, or houses sold them and brought the prices of the things that were sold and laid them down at the apostles' feet. And distribution was made unto every man according as he had need. And distribution was made unto every man according as he had need. And distribution was made unto every man according as he had need. Our forefathers had a community thriving under Rome, under the Roman Empire, trying not to depend upon Rome. Do these ministers, does your black church minister distribute to the poor of our people? Okay. Hell no. They live in, they want a $65 million jet. Are you kidding me? $65 million can keep our build up, we can have our own houses, our own, school. our own schools, our, our own school. banks, our own hospitals. <laughs> you black people have been hoodwinked by these fake black leaders. That's right. Understand that, understand what we're saying here. You know the crazy thing is about that? Speaking of $65 million, did you know, I don't know if some of you know, do you know where Quefo Dalla got his church? In that same neighborhood, there's nothing but drug dealers. You got prostitution running around. And guess what? All of our people. You're not going to hear them say, I want to collect $65 million to clean that neighborhood up. Right. Help our people know, I want a private jet. And your Negro so simple, he's going to get it. He got it already. I read that he got it. Damn. He said, praise white Jesus. Keep Damn. hope alive. So oh, uh, what we're reading, we're giving you Bible truth, brothers and sisters. So today is your day to decide whether or not you want to repent as Israel or stay in that dumb, fake religion you in and die. That's it. Okay, understand that. What do you say, Papa? Go ahead. That's it. Because at the end of the day, 
either you're going to take heed to what the Lord's given you, or you're going to go in your own understanding. Your own understanding is going to brought you to the gate of hell, dead. You're going to die in your wickedness. That's what's going to happen to you if you don't take heed to the message that we're giving you. Exactly. So you know what the gay agenda, right? It's all in schools now, right? Black people up in the uproar. Well, what you going to do? What are you going to do, brothers and sisters? You mad about the gay agenda in your school system? Oh, they said they might take away the 501c3 from the, the religious groups. What if they, hey, we just got one. Take it. Take it, devil. We don't give a damn. You ain't going to stop this truth. Understand that. So, y'all see what's happening in the world, brothers, sisters. Understand. Y'all see what's going on. He's on? We have to, give me that Zephaniah 2 1. Y'all know what I want. Conscious decision to come together. Why? Because that's prophecy. Come on. We're in the book of Zephaniah, the book of Zephaniah, chapter 2, verse 1. Uh huh. Gather yourselves together, yea, gather together, O nation not desired. Brother, sister, understand that. According to what you're seeing, even if you didn't believe in the Bible, are you desired? Does this country desire you? You know there's a new, uh, uh, the Voters Registration Act is back in Congress again to discuss whether or not to, to get to give black people another 10 years to vote. Y'all don't see nothing wrong with that. Nobody sees nothing wrong with that. Hey, yeah, yeah, Do you know there is none for the Chinese? Exactly. There is none for the Arabs? There is none for the super white man? But less far, and, and let me tell you, it's, uh, the white man is so, Weekend and our people is sleeping. Not only that they bring that right, but now you got these states who try to pass laws. They come with something called vote, vote, vote what is that? Vote ID. Yes. Where the Negro have to show ID to vote. Right. You know why they want to bring that? Because they're only the majority of these Negroes have no ID. <laughs> exactly. exactly. <laughs> That's right. Okay. You know what? We gotta come to the point where we say to hell with voting. We have to come together, brothers, sisters, we have the power under the Most High. Give me that Zechariah 4, 6, whole Zephaniah. You know what I want. We have the power to come together and create our own schools, teach proper and true history, create our own economic system. Read that for me. Read the book of Zechariah chapter 4, verse 6. Then he answered and spake unto me, saying, This is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel saying, not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, saith the Lord of hosts. That's the key. We can come together according to the spirit of God. You got brother, the Black Panther, New Black Panther Party, they met the Ku Klux Klan, yes. and they had a, a, a fist fight. Let me tell you, brothers and sisters, listen good. <laughs> There's going to be racial uprisings. I'm not saying the whole country is going to go into a racial uh, war, but I am saying in certain parts of this country, there will be racial uprisings. Now, once you take that step, like I just saw a video where Jake Bloods and Crips beat up this white boy. He was a Klan's member, right? Yes. Beat the hell out of him. There's going to be repercussions. Hosea 5.15, where it says, where the Lord says, uh, in their affliction. Can you read that for me? I'm going to show you what's about to happen. In the book of Hosea, chapter 5, verse 15. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face. In their affliction, they will seek me early. God knows you black men and black women, you won't seek the one true God un unless you are afflicted. You are about to be afflicted as a people. You have attacked the clan. <laughs> okay, hip hip hooray. Now they're going to retaliate. Now, I'm not saying that out of fear. Oh, hell no. I, we know what's about to go on. What's up? It's going to be on and popping. And you brothers in a new Black Panther Party, I'll just say this to you. Don't run out of bullets. Because you have to go to the same man you hate and despise. You have to go to him now to get the same bullets you want to use to shoot at him. That's Understand this. We must return to the living God as Israelites. You saw the movie Cotton, I think it's Cotton, what's that with Eddie Murphy and uh, oh, um, and Arsenio Hall? 
No, Hall of Hall of Knights. Hall of Knights. 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 Remember they were shooting one gang against the other, and Arsenio Hall had this little, was it a 30 or 22? <laughs> and everybody said, what the hell is that? Put that that's what it's going to be like. Let me tell you, brothers and sisters, you are not trained for a gunfight. The white man is well trained. He has his sons and daughters going to the range daily. And understand, I'm not saying this out of fear. I'm, not, I'm saying this out of warning. That's it. Israel, return and come back to the laws, statutes, and commandments of the one true God. And we shall be delivered. Again, I'm not saying that out of fear, because if somebody come for us, we're going to give them the thumps. We're going to handle our, our business. You white folks, you, we're not going to let you come and destroy us. But understand this. We are not a violent people. We're going to teach the word of God. We're going to teach it to our people, organize our people. That's our sole mission. Everybody understand that, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, I hope you all understand that thing. Go ahead. What do you want to say? Come on. Oh. No, 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 go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. So yeah, now, it, it just, we're together it, out of time. Yeah, it just, a lot of time, you know, like, uh, when we, when the message is going out to our people, the, the message will go out where they have a form of understanding. Right. But, uh, but the spirit of fear will torment our people. You know yes. why? Because you don't believe in the true God. Right. Because if you believe in the true God, God message said, we have to put our trust upon him. That's how we're going to deliver. Let me ask putting, you, does that mean let the white man smack the hell? He walk up to you and smack no, the hell out of you? No, we have, to, we have to defend ourselves. Like our forefathers with the Maccabees, when they come against us in the Sabbath, they defend them, uh, themselves. You understand? But us, God do not give us a spirit of fear. You know why? Because we believe in him. Exactly. We believe in him. Exactly. Let me explain that turn the other cheek. The turn the other cheek law that Christ gave in Matthew 5 was for brother and brother. This brother do something to me, I, turn the other cheek means I'm not going to retaliate and do something to him. Why? Because he's my brother. That's right. That's what Christ was saying. But you know what the Christian church does? Like them, them, those dead spirits in Charleston, uh -huh. their women, six black women got murdered. They said, we ain't going to do nothing crazy. You know what? I would have had to hunt that devil down. Yes. We would have got him before the cops. Yes. You're not going to walk in our homes and houses and kill us and walk away. Sisters, we understand that you, dead, you people in the Christian church, you have an evil, dead spirit, a fearful, dead spirit. Yes. When you read about Christ, let me show you something. Remember, give me the scripture. I'm going to show you the power of Christ. Remember when it came to get Christ and yep. John? Yep. Give me that. Somebody. I got to prove the point. Because somebody right now, there's a dead zombie Christian saying, no, Jesus never fought nobody. You're a liar. And you don't know the scriptures. When the scribes and Pharisees sent a small army against Christ, where is it, John 22? I can't. Come with somebody. Help me here. John, there is no John 22. John 20? Let me see. No, John 19. John 19. No, it ain't that. No, 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 no. John 18. John 18. Read verse 3 for me. We're going to read 3 down. This is the proof, you dead Christians. Christ wasn't no punk. He didn't sit around and let his men get killed. Watch. This is the proof. John chapter 18, verse 3. Judas then, having received a band of men and officers from the chief priests and Pharisees, cometh thither with lanterns and torches and, and weapons. And what? And weapons. Read on. Jesus therefore, knowing all things that should come upon him, went forth and said unto them, Whom seek ye? When it says he went forth, when he stood out in front of the disciples, he stepped forward in front of his men, and what happened? They answered him, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus said unto them, I am he. And Judas also, which betrayed him, stood with them. Here it comes, here it comes. As soon then, as he had said unto them, I am he, they went backwards and fell to the ground. What is that? Christ used spiritual power to knock that small band of officers down to show them, I can kill you right now if I want to. But the message, the mission was for Christ 
to sacrifice himself. Read on, watch what he says. And ask he them again, whom seek ye? I asked you again, who are you looking for? Go ahead. And they said, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus answered, I have told you that I am he. Watch this. If therefore ye seek me, let these go their way. Let these go their way. If you're looking for me, brothers, let these, let my disciples go. Christ knew their mission and plan was to kill everybody. Christ said, no, that ain't, going, that ain't God's plan. You're going to let my disciples go or I will kill you now. That's right. So they let the disciples. I'm showing you the character of Jesus, That's the black right. Messiah. He wasn't no faggot. He wasn't no punk. So pull your head out of that lying Christian religion. That's right. That's right. I want you to remember when he stood before Pilate. Yeah. He said, Christ said, if this kingdom was mine, my disciples would fight. Right. Another part he said, don't you know, I have the power to call 12 legions of angels right now to kill you? <laughs> Christ was not no fairy tale, long hair punk with blue eyes and red skin. Right. Understand right. that? He was a brother. He was God on earth in the flesh. He was the savior of the nation of Israel. Yeah. He is our king. He is our Messiah. He is our Lord and Savior. We are following him. So you brothers and sisters, come out of those false religions. Come out of the Baptist church, the Episcopalian church. Come out of Islam and come repent as Israel. Understand that. We must gather ourselves together. Yeah, well, come on. You know, when you examine this thing, all these churches, man, they are, they are like a grave site. When you examine this thing, how long they've been in our neighborhood? What's, what's good church has done to us? None. These pastors get rich off of us. They are part of our oppression. That's right. I'm glad you said that. Yeah. The church, the black church, is an oppressive system. Oh, I know right now what you're thinking, but the black church is the backbone of the black community. No, it's not. Give me that in Isaiah 28. I think it's 14 and 15. About they made the, start at 14, about you scornful men that rule this people. Your black leaders, they are con men. Yep. Your black leaders have made an agreement with white America to keep you impoverished, yes, to sir. keep you in a low state, right, to sir. keep you disillusioned. Watch this. Isaiah chapter 28, verse 14. Wherefore, hear the word of the Lord, ye scornful men that rule this people which is in Jerusalem. So it's talking about you black leaders. Watch this, here it come. Because ye have said, we have made a covenant with you. Yeah. Because you black leaders have said, we have made a covenant with death, an agreement with this system. Go ahead. And with hell. And with hell. This low state that our people live in. Are we at agreement? Are we at agreement? Why? Because they're getting paid big dollars. Look at Al Sharpton. Yeah. He's getting paid top dollar now. Uh, Isn't he on MS? MS, MS, MS more MS, MS, stupid news by Yep. That's what he's on. Look, I want you to look at great black leaders. You had Angela Davis, right, from the Black Panther Party. Where was she? She is a professor, a school, a university professor. Uh, uh, give me the, what's the guy? Pablo Guzman was one of the leaders of the Young Lords. He, what is he, a reporter? Uh, Geraldo Rivera was another leader of the Young Lords. It was the, yeah, the Young Lords, right? Yes. Yeah, this there were many great black and Latin leaders that the white man said, just give that nigga some money and he will shut up. Read the verse again. Because ye have said, we have made a covenant with death, and with hell are we at agreement. When the overflowing scourge shall pass through, when judgment shall come upon America, it shall not come unto us. You think it won't come unto you, you black leaders. Why? For we have made lies our refuge. You black leaders have made lies your covering of safety. Go ahead. And under falsehood, have we hid ourselves? You've hid yourselves under falsehood. The falsehood of your Christian religions, your denominations, your political groups. That's the falsehood you hide yourself under. Get, you know what? Imagine this. Every church minister, if they pool their money together, if they just put 10% of what they gathered on one Sunday, any given Sunday, and do that on a regular basis, they could create and fortify black communities where we could have our own hospitals. Because we have the education to do it. Yeah. We could have our own banking system because we have the education to do it. Our own school system because we have the education to do it. That's what the money could do. 
But no, you black people, no, you leaders, you say, no, I don't want to do that. That's not our goal. Because our friendly neighborhood white man said, I'm going to give you millions of dollars. Keep these Negroes divided, disorganized, and disillusioned. And docile. Yeah. And docile. Bishop, yes, sir. Bishop, perfect example. That's 65 million airplanes. That, that, right. that's 65 million dollars he just finished by the airplane is your mic on yes yeah, okay, mama, yeah for example you know what we can do with the 65 million dollars mm. in our neighborhood yes we can change the world in yeah, our neighborhood we can, we can change the heart of these young men yes, right. stop selling drugs stop you understand? stop killing each other stop but that's not women. yeah i mean but that's not what the 65 million dollars was for that's 65 million dollars for one man to show his shyness on, uh, upon this earth why his people is still in a poverty state. That's wickedness right That's there. Wicked. Exactly. Exactly. Tavis Smiley, remember he did a, 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 a show on C-SPAN called a Covenant, Black America's oh, Covenant okay. yep. with, Black, with America, something like that. I want to show you that the things that have been, what happened in the past is happening now. Get that in John 11, 47, I think it is. John chapter 11. I want to show you how the black leaders of the time, during the time of John, had a covenant with white Rome, with Rome. And it's the same covenant black leaders have with America today. Is that the verse I want? Yes, sir. Okay. Then gathered the chief priests and Pharisees a council and said, What do we? For this man doeth many miracles. That black man called Jesus Christ does many miracles. If we let him alone. If we leave him alone, him and his disciples. All men will believe on him. All Israelites will believe on him. And the Romans. This is my point. This is the point. And what? And the Romans shall come and take away both our place and nation. And the Romans, the white man, shall come and take away both our place, meaning our position, our position and nation. I want you to understand that. I want y'all to understand that. I look silly. Turn this off. Take away both our place and yeah, I heard you. you can't hear me out of this one? I hear you. So the covenant that we read in Isaiah 28 uh, fortifies and proves that the Bible is a true book. The black leaders during the time of Christ had a covenant with Rome to keep the Israelites from following Christ, the black Messiah to keep them from organizing. So likewise today, the same black leaders have made a covenant with white America and said, we have made an agreement with you with death and hell. Under falsehood have we hid ourselves so that these black men will not unify as Israelites. They will not come together and build nothing. That's what they do, okay? What y'all got? Come on, somebody. Uh, I, I can't follow that good. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, you know, uh, when you look in the word America, what America was not set up for us. What America was set up for what America. That's right. Our people that what America set up to be over our people, those are brainwashed brothers. Yeah. They come in the they come in the community, they ain't come to heal nobody. They come to heal their pockets. You know, you know another thing. Everything the bishop went, uh, you know, one of the things that I notice about our people, our people look at themselves as individuals. The other nations look at themselves as a, as a whole. Just like Dick and Yao have always said, you cannot rise above your people. Right. You can't. Because when you look at our people, the first argument is, oh, what about Jay-Z? What about the us? Listen, they can't, I don't care how much money Jesse get, I don't care how much money Beyonce get, I don't care how much money Oprah get. You can never rise up above your nation. You can't. It's impossible. Hey, Oprah, can you hear me? Yes, yes sir. Oprah Winfrey thought that. Remember she went to France to do yeah. big shopping? Yeah. The white man of France said, no, yeah. you're not coming in, Ashford. No. She said, I'm Oprah. Let me tell you what the white people see. We. When a white man looks at one black man or black woman, let me tell you what he sees, in case you're, not, you're confused. He sees 45 million niggas in yeah. your face alone. Yeah. No matter how rich you are, he sees 45 million impoverished, disillusioned, yeah. disenfranchised people when he sees you. Yeah. No matter how rich you are. Yeah. 
Right. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 hold on. You remember uh, uh, Magic Jensen's, how that white boy put him to shame? They say he got oh, yeah, all yeah, this yeah, money, yeah, yeah. but he never went to uh, help his own people. Yeah, your right. black people, your black brothers, man, who have money, that turn, you turn your backs up on your own people. Your judgment will come if you don't repent. I'm telling you. Right, and then, but you're in the strip club spending twenty thousand dollars at any given night in a drunken stupor. Well, didn't I'm not sure. Y'all correct me if I'm wrong. Mayweather, wasn't he in a strip club with wads yep. of not yep. singles, yep. Yep. hundred dollar bills? Yep. Just all of them. This, this is this is pathetic. This is why the white man looks at us and says niggers. That's why a white man said, sure, we can give black people 40 acres and a mule. We can give them its value in money. He said, but guess what will happen? He said, do you think their condition will change? He said, oh, he said Cadillacs will go up in, oh, in Escalade. Es Escalade. Because <laughs> Dave Chappelle did a joke on it. We will circulate. He said their minds are not to the point where they can properly organize. And that's, that's what Christ said. What did Christ say? He said, you must be born again. Being born again means your mind must change. You can be a multimillionaire, but you can still be a nigger at the same time. But, uh, Bishop, even though if they do give them the money, I guarantee you, no matter how they say it every year, how white people uh, is a few billionaire ways up, that year, there are going to be a lot of white people be billionaires. Yeah. I'm telling you. Because they're going to spend their money back, giving back to the white folks. You know what's, you know what's heavy about that mission of the is that a lot of our brothers and sisters that have come into this what is called new money. Yes. They have, it's like, it's like putting lipstick on a pig. Right. They're still mentally destroyed, but in a higher tax bracket. So even though they're in a higher tax bracket, they still do niggerish things. Here's the thing, when, when we get money, we never stay in our communities that we came up in. Right. We move to the so-called white man's suburbs. Exactly. So why, why, why don't we establish our own neighborhoods where when people, our people get money, they move to our neighborhoods, as they did in the early 1900s, yeah, right. okay? In our black bottom, down out in Detroit, we had our own hotels, we had our own uh, restaurants, where our people, when they traveled through the Chitlin circuit, mm -hmm. they stayed at our hotels because we were not allowed to stay in the white man's hotel. Mm -hmm. We created our own, so our people had our businesses and our neighborhoods to flock to. But the new Negro with that new money, now, he'll blow a million dollars in a strip club, yep. Yep. go back to his $80 million house, mm -hmm. and all of his people have nothing. Nope. And what is new money compared to old money? White folks got old money. Old money. And, when I, and when you hear the term old money, that's slave money. That's, that's what it means. Yes. That's exactly what it means. That's right. That's right. You got this scripture? Yes. We're in the book of Sirach, chapter 14, verse 3. Riches are not comely for a nigger. Damn! Damn! Oh. That's it right there. That's, that's a banger right there. Let me read it again. Riches. Now, is, that, is that the Bible? This is, an, this is the Bible. That's this is what right. God says. That's right. Let me see what God says one more time. Riches are not comely for a nigger. And what should an envious man do with money? What should an envious man do with money? Yes, sir. Can we see who he's envious of? Give me Proverbs 3.31. Who is Floyd Mayweather? Ooh. Now listen good when oh, I say this. Uh, I'm not saying this out of hatred because we love Floyd Mayweather. We love all our people. But our people who have money are envious of who? Proverbs 3.31. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 31. Envy thou not the oppressor. Now go back to Sirach, go back. Let's read the bottom of that again. And what should an envious man do with money? What shall an envious man do with money? Envious of who? One more time, Proverbs. Envy thou not. The oppressor. Who is the oppressor? Your friendly neighborhood white man is our oppressor. Says, Don't envy your oppressor. And choose none of his ways. Choose none of his ways. That's called, The Bible answers everything. So we envy him. We want to look like him. We want to talk. Oh, oh, wait. Did I say something wrong? We don't want to look like the so-called white man. What's his name? Oh, uh, uh, Sammy Sosa. Look at Sammy Sosa. Did he bleach his skin? Yes, yes. he did. Yes. What is the Jamaican Chanta? Uh, vibes Cartel. Vibes Cartel. Look at him. 
What about Nicki Minaj? She got the blonde, Mary J. Blige, the blonde hair, the contact. Look at our people. Mary been out since the early 90s. I've never seen her with nothing but blonde hair. Exactly. Sisters, what do you think a perm is? You envy your oppressor. I'm doing that on a superficial context. But when you get deeper into it, we envy the oppressor. We want to floss like he floss. Wow. We want the jets. We want the yachts. Wow. We don't want to help our people. But let me tell you, the white man does behind the scenes help his people. That's what yeah. we saw with Dylan Roof. Yes, yeah. sir. Uh, behind the scenes, the white man said support him. What was the other Edomite, the white guy that they supported? Um, George Zimmerman. George Zimmerman. And it was one? Darren Wilson. Darren, Darren Wilson. Wilson, thank you. He's a millionaire. Exactly. You, they support their people. You know, uh, Bishop, you know that uh, when you're looking at the condition of our people, what they stand for, when the white man looking at us, it, what he see is what he destroy already. Mm -hmm. So our people who have money, they're thinking that because I have money, I don't look like I am destroyed. Man, but the money you have, look what you do with it. The Chinese, billion dollars in fake hair. Mm -hmm. the, the East Indians come in your neighborhood, get filthy rich. But the money you have, you use it to show hatred of your own selves. That's right. Make no sense. How the hell I have money, but I use my money to show that I hit myself. That's right. And, and Deacon, you know what they do? The other nations know we're so destroyed and we have that self-hate in us that they're going to sell you the products that will medicate you in your self-hate. Right. Yeah. Yeah. They're going to sell you the weeds. Because I don't know, well, New York, I know too. But let's take the our women, for example. When you look at the hair salons, there's no pictures on the outside of, of poses of white women. There's no pictures of the East Indian woman. No. There's no pictures of the Arab or the Chinese women. No. You go in them stores, you see all the mannequins of dark skin yeah. with big blonde heads, yeah. different yeah. kinds of weaves. Yeah. They're geared towards your self-hate. They're making money off you through your self-hate. Yeah. 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 Well, about that. When we want to open a business, they say you have to have a credit history, right? Yep. Yeah. America has policies in place for people of other nations where they don't need a credit score. The Chinese can come over here there are policies in place where they are given millions of dollars, or I'll say, let's say thousands, to open up a Chinese restaurant, to open up uh, hair centers, nail salons. And if the banks will say, how are you going to get this get this money, the loans, if we get, when we give it to you? How are you going to get it back? We're going to open up in black communities. And they say, go forth and prosper. Give me that, right, give that Deuteronomy 28, 33. Hold your points, Shem, because I know you got something heavy for us. If you got something, bring it forth, bro. Deuteronomy 20, I think it's verse 43, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 43. What are we about to read? How the other nations come among us and suck us dry economically. Watch this. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high. The stranger is the other nations. The prophecy says they shall rise above the Israelites. And let, read what it says. Go on. And thou shalt come down very low. Come on. He shall lend to thee. The nations, the strangers shall lend to us. And thou shalt not lend to him. We would not lend to him. Why? Because we have no economic foundation. The other nations have all the money. They organize together. Chinese men go to a black community, open a Chinese store. Does he use any portion of that money to help black people? That would be a hell no. No. He goes back with that money and goes to Chinatown or sends it to China. Yeah. We don't do that. We don't understand how it works. And, and Bishop, I'm glad you brought that out about it. all these different nationalities. They have their own community. Yeah. And they, but you will see the Chinese um, business in our community. You will see the Korean nail salons in our community. You will see the Jewish man, the fake Jews bank in our community. Where is our businesses in their communities? That's not it, it don't exist. It don't exist. It's you're, 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 you're dreaming. You're, you're in dreamland right now if, if you believe that we're, we are equal in this land. Because the black community has no business of their own. We can't support each other. I go into the dry cleaners bomb around my way, and I see the, the woman I'm doing business with, she don't even know English. But she is she has a business in the black community. And who's behind her? Her little she, She's watching her little baby. I'm telling my daughter, hey, see, that's going to be your oppressor when you grow up, huh, if you don't do something. Because that one is going to grow up and oppress you next and yep. the next generation, man, if this, if this cycle continues. So we got to come out of this foolishness, man. It's, it's one thing you're going to find out 
uh, our organization, IUIC on the voice. Uh, we not only talk the talk, we will walk the walk. That's right. We will make sure our kids well educated with the way we will teach them, not the way white America will teach our people. You understand? We not only talk the talk, we will show you that we can make it happen. Right. That we will make so-called black leaders look like a bunch of liars, oh. a bunch of stealing, a bunch of wicked Negroes. But you know, uh, I'm glad you said that, Labaka. I was gonna say, what you're looking at right now is a new day. We are the new breed. That's why you're looking at the new breed. Because we, we're not negotiating, we're not marching, we're not gonna vote. What you're gonna see is we're gonna work up this so-called Negro and this so-called Hispanic in America and all over the world. That's right. The truth will be told. And you're looking at the man who's going to bring it forth. We're not, we don't care about your money, Esau. We don't care about your power. What we care about is working up our people. That's right. That's what we're about. That's what we, IUIC, is about. Is working up the so-called Negro and the so-called Hispanic, the so-called American Indian in America and all over the earth. You're looking at the new leader of the earth. That's what you're looking at. Under Christ. You know, when you, when you examine everything else, we will turn back. We're going to turn back. And we're going to reach out for the brothers that destroy, for the sisters that have no such thing. We're going to come back. We're going to come back for you, sister. Because we come here with you, we're going to leave you with you. With the white frame of mind, with the white spirit. You're not going to come with us with the blonde hair. No, sister. Brother, you're not going to come with the nigger spirit. No, brother. You're going to come with the spirit of Christ. We're going to have to teach you the Christ spirit, how to roll in this system. We're going to come back for you, brother. Believe that. Exactly. Farrakhan made a statement. He, he, like when you look. Okay, Farrakhan said, speak truth to power. But then he opens his mouth about Islam and nothing is done. The Million Man March, which is another one coming and nothing gets accomplished. I would like to be part, all of us, on the next Million Man March to address a million black men. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't that be great? Okay. Somebody reach out. You listen, if you if you got the connections, you get us on that panel. You get us up there. Get the Israelites up there. Give me John 8.32. Mm -hmm. Let's speak truth to power. We're tired of playing games. Yes. Okay? And when we bring forth the truth, we can organize a million black men. But we must be of one mind and one accord. Read that for me. John chapter 8, verse 32. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So Farrakhan says, speak truth to power, but we're still in a poor, impoverished condition. Because Farrakhan is not the man of God. I'm going to tell you straight. Now, I do love Farrakhan. Don't get me wrong. But he is not coming with the truth, the full truth, and nothing but the truth. No matter how fiery and... Offensive. offensive and eloquent. eloquent and orator he is. He's one of the best orators there are out there. Yep. And I love that about him, but he's not coming with the full, unadulterated truth. But we are. Right. We're going to speak the truth, and when this truth comes out full force, our people is going to be set free. Right. And guess what, brothers and sisters? We will be going home. Because you know, right. going home means the missiles are coming. Yes. Right. There's going to be destruction here. That's right. Bishop, 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 you know the message is, is clear. If you're not a real leader, move out of our way. We go. will gather the people. That's, right. that's, that's our job. We will gather our people under God's laws. If you're not a real leader, the message is step up our way. Giving us the floor, then we will build, like, like the Bishop just said. We will address the one million men march. We will tell our people what they need to hear. You understand? Stop lying to our people tell the truth sir okay and with that brothers and sisters once again we want to thank the bishop for coming out we want to thank Deacon Lobby for coming out we pray for the safe return to their homes we say shalom shalom shalom, shalom. shalom. shalom.
Shalom, Israel. I'm Elder Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.